Hello! In this video, I'm going to show you how you can download the Eureka project, install it on your local machine, and run a few examples. The environment is a Windows desktop, and in a later video, I'm going to do the same thing for a Linux operating system. I have already downloaded from the downloads page the latest distribution. Eureka 2014, January 5th. This is Eureka 2.1 version. This version is not necessarily compatible with the book Algorithms of the Intelligent Web. You can purchase the book on Amazon. The link is on the page. You can visit the Eureka Google Plus page. You can access the Java doc from this link right here. And you can find an errata uh, page for the book, again, from the link on the page. I have unzipped the file and placed it in the C directory of my Windows desktop. You can see right here, Drive C, root directory, iWeb2. I am going to demonstrate to you how you can make use of the Eureka project for your own purposes, whether it is education or whether you would like to incorporate the Eureka source code into your own projects or even into your commercial application by using an integrated development environment, an IDE. I will use Eclipse and I'm going to import the code by creating a new Java project. I'm going to give a name, Eureka. I'm not going to use the default location. Instead, I'm going to select the root directory of the distribution. I'm using it as output folder for the Eclipse compiled classes, the build Eclipse directory, and everything else should be good. The fastest way to make use of the Eureka code is to write a piece of code inside the test sandbox. In this case, I have copied the content of the bin cell nodes from Lucene and DocRank text file and I'm going to execute it. Once you copy cut and paste uh, any script from these pencil notes files. You can paste them into the main method of the test sandbox class and execute them. Always remember you have to import the classes of the specific example and because you have not done any other environment configuration you have to go to the run configurations option over here and in the arguments, add the property eureka.home for all the examples that you want to execute. Now, any code that is going to run is going to know where you have unzipped your Eureka distribution. So let's run this example. The outcome comes out in the console, and as you can see, what you, we would have expected in the bin cell, this is our root directory printed out right here, and then the rest of the method calls respond. Uh, in this particular case, we were comparing a search that was done against pure Lucene indexes uh, versus a search that has combined Lucene scores and page rank scores over here. The difference being that in the case that page rank scores were also involved, the spam document was sent to the bottom of the list. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching.